Today, I will communicate with Google's strongest AI so far named Gemini, more specifically Gemini Pro using Python. Of course, you will need an API key from Google AI Studio. I will show you how to get that API key for free at the end of this video. Let me first demonstrate how simple Google has made communication with its Gemini Pro model through API calls. First, make sure that Google Generative AI package is installed on your Python environment. You can use pip install Google Generative AI command for that. You are ready to have a conversation with Google's Gemini Pro AI model using Python. Import the Generative AI package. Copy the API key in a string variable. Again, I will show you how you can get the API key for free around the end of this video. We imported the Generative AI package as Gen AI. We configure Gen AI with the API key variable. We now set Gen AI's generative model to be in Gemini Pro. We name the model connection Gemini model. Call the generate content method of Gemini model with our query. My query here is who is Mr. Beast? I save the response to a variable named response. Now I print response.text. Here is what Gemini Pro responded. Mr. Beast, whose real name is Jimmy Donaldson, is an American YouTuber, philanthropist, and entrepreneur. We have more text in the response. The information provided is correct and well written. That is awesome. I am copying the same line to generate content again with a different prompt. Now the prompt is does he make international content? My target here is to check if the model recognizes that the pronoun he in this context refers to Mr. Beast of my previous question. In an earlier video using OpenAI API, I saw that OpenAI's API did not recognize the context. The OpenAI API needed the context to be included within the prompt. So I'm interested to check if Google's generative AI API handles this on its own. I'm printing the response as a response to my second question. Does he make international content? Gemini responded, yes. It also provides a brief explanation. Mr. Beast is known for his international content, such as his videos where he gives money to people in different countries. That means using Gemini API, we do not have to handle the context. It remembers the context of the conversation. It also remembers the previous questions and the responses in the session. We can repeatedly keep asking questions. If you would like to see the history of the session, either we have to keep saving the conversation on our own within the program, or we can use another function called start chat of the Gemini model. In that function, I can mention any past history. In my case, I am starting the conversation with an empty history list. I am asking Gemini model using the chat version of the model, who is Mr. Beast? The response text is good. I now ask the chat function, does he make international content? The response is good and elaborate. As said earlier, the Gemini's chat model API saves the conversation so far. You can just print the history variable of the chat model. The history contains the question, who is Mr. Beast? And the corresponding response. The history also contains the second question. That is the entire chat history is available in the history variable of the chat model. I'm deleting the API key, both from my code and from the Google AI Studio. You will have to use your own API key here. Now let me show you how you can get the API key from Google AI Studio for free. I'm assuming that you are already logged in to Google in your browser session. Here is the pricing page at ai.google.dev slash pricing. 
Notice that it is free for everyone with a rate limit of 60 queries per minute. Pay as you go is reasonably priced too. But at this point, it is in coming soon stage. Hit the Get API button for the free access. Select checkboxes on the Terms and Services page based on your preferences. Then hit the Continue button. You want to get an API key, so click the Get API Key button. Click on Create API Key in New Project. The API key is being generated. Here it is. Use your API keys securely. Do not share them with anyone. Use this API key in your Python code. Note again, I have deleted this particular API key, so this specific key will not work. You need to generate your own API key using your Google account. Your Google AI Studio dashboard is here. The website is makersuit.google.com. You can manage your API keys from this interface. There is another Gemini model that can handle images. The model name is Gemini Pro Vision. We did not discuss Gemini Pro Vision today. Anyway, it is said that Google's Gemini models take us to the next level very closer to AGI, Artificial General Intelligence. What do you think? Comment below.